Hello everyone, Sons and Duck 2, welcome to another mod overview, this time on Creative. A mod that simply adds in expanded elements to Creative Mode. So, uh, you got separate Creative and Survival inventories. Uh, you've got Modern Design with uh, tabs, which again wasn't a thing until release 1.3 and higher. Uh, we've got Creative and Vulnerabilities, so that means you, I assume, won't take damage when uh, in creative mode. Uh, again, obviously we can't change between survival and creative with commands, or at least as far as I know this mod doesn't add anything that allows you to switch between them, but uh, you've got a creative mode in vulnerability rather than just being you still take damage in creative mode. Um, you've got uh, creative flight, which you can just press a key for. It, it is uh, configurable in the uh, controls menu, and there is a mod API for those who want to expand upon things. I assume, like, for example, maybe the Iron Chests mod could expand upon having a tab uh, that's available for its stuff there. It's the only block mod I can think of currently for this. Probably there's others, but yeah. Uh, otherwise, of course, here's uh, all the stuff you can do, I guess, to create a creative tab. And there is other planned features such as any block destruction, so I assume just hitting it with your fist or whatever you want, instead of it being you need a respective tool all the time to break it, uh, and then there's smooth creative flight, which we'll see how the creative flight is here, which it's currently just a, you press the key and it works, it's not a double jump sort of system. So yeah, so we'll get to this real quick, and uh, it's uh, night specifically so I can test the invulnerability, and I've tried to attempt to record this twice now, so yeah. Uh, so we've got the full blocks tab right here, so we can see most of our building blocks like so. We've got our other blocks, which is things like our fluids, we've got a few redstone ones in here, we've got uh, some of the decor type of stuff. Uh, we've got tools, which shears are in here, obviously flint and steel and such is in others. Uh, we've got weapons, which is our swords and armour. We've got resources, which is obviously our common ores and a few other items. We've got food, which is like so. And then we've got items, which is our bow, flint and steel, and a few other things like dyes and beds and so on. And you can see there's the two buttons here which don't do anything, but I assume if you had another mod that had creative tab support, then uh, you could obviously access that. Again, the iron chest example I made before. I don't think that mod has creative tab support, because again, it was made before this one. And I don't think it's up I don't think it's updated, but either way, any other ones going forward from this or if others update to add it, then you'll know. But yeah, currently it's just these tabs at the moment, and all vanilla focused, of course. Uh, you can see we've got our survival and creative tab, which we can swap between any time. Uh, if you are in the survival inventory one, and you go back into your inventory, it'll go straight back to creative. <coughs> Excuse me. As default. Just going to throw it there. Uh, other than that, typical use in beta that obviously I learnt for the first time is that obviously uh, tools and interacting with things is very much survival-like still. So you can place your blocks down and it'll be, you know, that actual block. You can't use it infinitely, which is why I brought that up before at the planned features section. Um, obviously when it comes to breaking things, you do have to use a tool to break it. You can't just try and break it by hand. I know it's very dark. Um, so yeah. There is that. So you are still having to do survival level stuff. There's no break anything with your fist sort of uh, focus there. Again, there's no command, so I can't do like a clear thing. I have to just keep throwing them into here. Or no clear all button, I should say. Where the, the X sort of trash button, there's none of that yet. Uh, which could be also a feature. Again, I'm probably thinking too much of modern design here. and Some people probably might just prefer the uh, regular here and not too many modern elements. But either way. And I don't see us getting attacked currently, so they're just sort of... Is that just the skeleton? Or is that just like a throwing arrow at us? Okay, that might have just been the skeleton over there. I was like, huh? Why is it...? So yeah, so we can't get attacked currently. Uh, as you can see here. I'll uh, sort of run away a bit, even though we have no sprinting. But I'm just gonna close out of here. Uh, actually no, I'll show the creative flight first, before doing that. Um, so they're going to try and explode. So they're still going to try and look for us, even though we're, you know, being creative, but it's still survival-like creative. We can press the uh, G key, and you can see that we can start flying. Again, obviously it's dark, so it's not the best. I might just get a bed while I'm at it real quick. 
uh, and we'll just ignore that. They'll still be around, so I can test other stuff, so that's fine. We'll just get this bed real quick, and just skip to the nut, uh, to daytime. So it's easy to see. Uh, oh, come on. Really? Oh, it's the mob spawn thing. Right, I forgot that's a possible thing. Um, yep, yeah, so they're just going to keep spawning, aren't they? Which is really annoying. Do I have to actually be in a safe area? I can't also middle click either, so that's also a thing that's not available. Um, do I have to really be in a place? Okay. Um, either way. Controls, you've got fly with G, so you can just press it there. No double jumping, like I said, so we can double jump if we want to and then activate it. But uh, again, you can just activate it by just pressing G. And you can see we just walk straight off the uh, area there. So that's how that flight works. Uh, pressing it on and off toggles it or uh, toggles it to on or off there. So that's that. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, obviously those familiar with Beta 173 can tell, obviously the survival level creative is normal. Uh, creative and vulnerability obviously is not a thing, uh, but is with this mod and so on. So I probably don't need to test that, but for me I'll test my own time, because of course it's the thing I'm not familiar with. Um, but yeah, and all you really need is Station API. So if you have Station API in your uh, mods folder, along with this mod, you'll be perfectly fine. I don't know which mods are compatible, say if you wanted like all of them for, that are under Station API support. I don't know which ones actually do work or not, I've still got to test a bit of that. But uh, all the ones I used last time in my last video related to Cursed Fabric, um, those ones did work, but I have yet to find out if Creative, the Nether one, and the other two here obviously I'm going to be covering, uh, if those work properly, if you can make them work with the others, because uh, all three of these don't work with them, and uh, the uh, one I tested I think here doesn't work with them, so yeah, I'll find out, because I'm going to make a, a Cursed Fabric mod pack, of course, and then apply whatever ones I can, so it's easy for people to download. But, uh, yeah. Otherwise, thanks so much for watching, and goodbye.